we are so afraid of the irrational that we deny the possibility of the transrational. We live in an age of rationality, especially we live in an age that prides itself on its rationality. And it is rationality we believe that it has led to the phenomenal scientific progress and the technological advances that have so radically transformed the world. And that has helped us to grow, or to outgrow the previous dark ages with their superstitions. So, naturally, if anything seem, anything is irrational, we are afraid of it. We fear and dread the prospect of people again believing in irrational things and dragging humanity back to the dark ages. Unfortunately, we do hear of gullible people being exploited by religious fanatics by medical quacks by ruthless politicians and often we think why are people so irrational to believe such stuff so our fear of the irrational is justified because when people become irrational then they become gullible and even dangerous. Simultaneously, however, while rationality helps us to see things clearly, rationality can also blind us from seeing certain things. There is a level below rationality that is irrationality and there is a level above rationality that is transrationality. And the two are not the same at all. The transrational refers to those realities, not which, not those realities that don't stand the cross, uh, scrutiny or scrutiny of rationality, but those realities before which rationality can't stand. Are there such realities at a fundamental level? If we consider rationality has no rational explanation for its own existence. If we equate rationality with materialism, that matter is all that exists, then we are left with the question, why does matter follow rational laws? If the world has emerged from fun simple fundamental particles, simple particles through un unguided processes, then why would nature follow rational laws? If our minds too have emerged by, from unguided natural processes, then why would our minds follow natural laws or uh, follow rational, be capable of discerning rational rationality? So, oh, ration, rationality is a va valuable and powerful tool for discerning reality, but it is like like every tool has limitations and the spiritual the transcendental the divine if understood through proper philosophy as explained in wisdom texts like the bhagavad gita doesn't have to be irrational it can be transrational it can be the explanation that 
gives rationality its rationale. Nature and the mind perceive rationality because they come from a rational source, the divine. And this such openness to the transrational will actually expand our vision and broaden our knowledge. And we needn't be, we needn't equate the two and and project the fears of the fears arising from the irrational to the transrational. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita 439, param shantim That when we are faithful here, in the, here faithful. At the very preliminary level means when we are open to the possibility of uh, transrational, then we get that no- get knowledge, we gain understanding, provided there is sensual regulation, so that we are no longer obsessed with the material, and there is spiritual dedication, spiritual commitment. So thus, we can by opening ourselves to the transrational, we can discover the richness of reality and relish that richness. Thank you.